up songs. And we won't have to cry no more. Yep. <sighs> it is day 16. Day 16. Uh, look, look at my little dimple coming in. It's coming in even more. Um, last night, last night, I had a terrible dream. And I often, I get these dreams a, a lot to where um, whatever emotion I was experiencing in that dream, I wake up feeling that in that same way. And last night, it was one of those um dreams where my heart was hurting and sometimes it's to the point like if i'm crying in my sleep like i have woken up in tears tears um from crying so much in my sleep and that's such an uncomfortable feeling for me and this morning when i felt my heart hurting and those uncomfortable emotions i just wanted to get up and i wanted to run what did i say yesterday I just feel as though the need to keep going and my while I was dreaming like my body the next morning this morning it was like go run go run and I didn't know where I was running to but my heart was hurting so bad that all I can choose was just to run run away from whatever was hurting me so I didn't go to the gym today so I went down um went downtown and I went walking along the riverfront and I was I was walking along the riverfront um i had my friend go with me and just telling them how i felt and telling them about my dreams that i've been having um that was just making me want to go run and i said to her i was like i was just talking about that in my video yesterday about me running you know and not slowing down so we started walking going off pacing then i'm getting out of breath and i'm just like yo why are we running I was like, yo, why are we, where, where are we going? I literally said, where are we going? Why are we walking so fast? And I said, I, I was like, we don't need to be going so fast. And that's when Spirit was just running. I'm, I was out of breath. I was like, girl, what are, where are we going? And I said, we have no destination. Like, calm down. Like, you, you relax. So um, we was walking and we slowed down and we continued um, along that road. And... I was just like, okay, all right, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm just going to enjoy it. So, um, as we was walking, it was this beautiful bird. And I was just like, yo, I have been getting so caught to, like, close to the animals. I think it's dope. It was this, first I seen this yellow, um, it's not a parakeet. Lord, what kind of bird is it? I don't know, but it was a little beautiful yellow bird that just caught my eyes. I was like, oh my gosh, that bird is so beautiful. So then as I'm walking, um... I don't know what kind of birds these are. I'm going to learn what kind of birds these are because, I'm, again, I'm a nature freak. So I just had to make all this space in my videos so I can make this video because my phone cut off on me. It says storage is too full. So I had to go through a lot of stuff and clean it out. But anyway, so the point is along this journey as I was walking, um, I was seeing everything that's in transformation. And the last thing I was seeing was flowers. Look at the seeds that we had just planted, you know, um, the first day of spring, we planted those seeds and by the next season, it's going to fully blossom. It is literally transforming. Everything around me is transforming. So it only makes sense that I'm going to transform as well. And so I learned that I was seeing a caterpillars because what did I say yesterday? I said, I feel like I'm a butterfly. Like, I feel like I'm about to, you know, fly, you know, soar um, in this new transition of my life, wherever spirit is taking me and wherever i'm running to i don't even know what i'm running to and i told you yesterday that's a god is just like run run with me run with me you know these last few miles run with me um as god is preparing me for something and i know it's it's great and i was looking at my calendar um yesterday and i was like dang i have quite a few events coming up again me not self-reflecting on what i actually have going on and being grateful for that you know i have um, an event on the 19th where my book is being fe featured by one of the council women in, in my state. How much is the, of an honor is that? And I'm not even like really thinking about it in that aspect. Um, and then the next day I have another author's event. And then in July I have um, a cookout. Like it's called her thing is called Crystal's Cookout, which I will be speaking. And 
I will also be um, vendoring as well. You know, I have a lot of things coming up and I'm not giving myself enough gratitude. Like, Courtney, you are doing the damn thing. Stop it. It's like, stop running because you're missing things along the journey. Like, stop rushing to get everywhere. You're missing key elements. And if I was running today, I wouldn't have noticed all the little tadpoles. I wouldn't have noticed the butterflies. I wouldn't have noticed, you know, the beautiful nature around me. I wouldn't have noticed none of that because my ass was so focused on running. Uh, what was that vibrating? Um, it's just, you know what I mean? Those, those things. And God was just slowing me down. He's preparing me. And likeness, he's like, let me work on you. Let me work on you. Um, and somebody told me that I'm very humble. And I'm a little too humble. Um, you know, because I don't talk about my um, accomplishments enough. Like, even though I don't have to talk about it, but I don't give myself that recognition. Um, and it's so ironic because as a child, I used to search for validation all the time but now i'm just like eh. you know i would i would try so hard to get my dad's attention and be like dad is this enough is this enough you know and in turn that turned over to my relationships trying to prove myself in relationships like i'm an equal partner like this is what i have to offer i'm about to form tears this is what i have to offer as a partner and then when i get rejected i feel like damn am i not is that not enough like how much do i have to do how much do i have to prove myself it's like Courtney, you are way more than enough it's not even about your accomplishments, you know what I mean? And it's like, I better myself in all aspects of everything just to just to show that I'm enough, that just to show like I can do this. Whatever you need me to do, I can do it. And God's like, Courtney, I don't, that's the thing. The humans the, want that. God's like, I don't want that. I don't necessarily need you to constantly try to prove. I just need you to live in your purpose, live out what I am calling you to do. And that is enough. That is enough. And I'm just like, you know what, God, you're right. He was like, appreciate. Look at look, still look at what you're doing. Look at the moves that you're making. Look at the strides that you're making in your life. Honey, that is more than enough. Um, and today when I was running, walking, I wasn't running today, I was walking. Um, I still made my goal. I looked at my phone. I was like, I did my 10,000 steps. Thank you. Thank you, God. You know? Um, so, yeah. Transforming. Transforming. Um, my heart today was just like, don't worry. By the end of this, they're not going to be able to recognize you. They're going to be like, Courtney who? That's court? You know? Um, he's like, I have been preparing you for what's coming next. You know? Everything is preparing you for me. And he's like, you took this travel with him. You know, um, God has been by my side every step of the way. And do I have doubts and fears? Yes. Yes. I think that's what was coming to me in my dream last night was the overthinking, the doubts, the fears. Um and again, and showing up in relationships. Um, I was telling my friend, I said, even though I want this relationship, it's like when it's presented to me, I get scared. I get scared. I run. You know, I said when he was showing me um, love and affection one time, I was like, oh my gosh, God, this is a lot. This is a lot. Can I handle this? You know? And it's like, yes, you can. Court, look at everything else you handle. You handle it with grace. You are so beautiful. You conquer everything that is presented to you. So why do you think that you can't have love? You are going to sabotage this love. Yes, you're sabotaging it now because... You're sabotaging it now because it's, it's in your mind. Something has been trying to not make me get this video. Because things keep popping up on my screen every time I get deep. But... um. You're sabotaging them now by your negative thoughts. And I kept, I always think like nobody's going to really love me. Nobody's going to stay, stay around. You know what I mean? They're always going to end up leaving. And that's what ends up happening. Like 
everything I put into my mind. You know, I tell, I tell you all this all the time. I'm telling you, I'm no exempt. I'm just like everybody else. But I just know um, I'm able to recognize it and to change that. So with these negative thoughts coming in, it's like they're not going to stay. They don't really love me, even though they're showing me that they love me. I'm still doubting it. I'm still like, ah, this can't be real. This can't be true. You know what I mean? And since I'm putting that out into the universe, it's going to present that to me. It's going to reflect me. What did I say in one of my previous videos? I said, God, universe doesn't give you what you ask for. It gives you what you are. And since I was scared of love, I attract people that are scared of love. As much as we love each other, as much as we do for each other, it's like, uh-uh. This is this is too, too beautiful, too dope. And I run. I run. You know? Um... I don't stand firm in my love. I think that's what God is telling me that, that I got to stop doing. You know, I question if this person really loves me. I question if this is um, truly happening in my favor. Um, I doubt it. I doubt that the person loves me. Regardless of what they're showing me, um, it's just like, mm, but you're not doing what I asked you to do, you know. And maybe that's because he, they're doing what spirit asked them to do. You know, hey, she's not ready. And before she ruins this, I need you to back off. You're not ready. I need you to back off. You get what I'm saying? And that can happen because it's not always the other person because I project a lot of fears onto my relationships because of what happened to me in the past. I know sometimes this person loves me, but I'd be like, mm. and I and I be praying. I, I pray to God. I'm like, does this person love me? And God be like, duh, let, let's go down the list, court. They do this, 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 and this. And you're concerned about this one aspect because you're projecting fears onto your relationships, which is going to continue to not get you the love that you are desiring. And it's not going to allow that person to come into you. Transformation. Transformation. I went from crying this morning to wanting to go run to seeing things all around me transforming. Everything's transforming into their higher selves, into their next levels. And just embrace it. Embrace it. Um, yes, those, those fears and those doubts came up that about my love life and that's okay that's what spirit wants me to do that's why i'm vlogging to get this shit to fuck up um but at the end of the day god knows my heart and he's like i just need you to release these fears release these doubts because once this person once you are in divine union once you know um it all comes together you'll see why you know So, all right, I will catch y'all tomorrow, day 17, <sighs> day 17, oh my gosh, we're so close to 21, so close to 21 days of breaking, you know, just 21 days, that's awesome, that's awesome, all right, awesome, just awesome, 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 um, so don't forget, Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Do what you got to do to support your girl. Um, Instagram, Conversations with Court, underscore TikTok, Convos with Court. Visit my website, conversationswithcourt.com. And always just hit me up. I'm always down to talk to people. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for day 17. We're going to have a better day tomorrow. It always gets better.